Toronto. We're about to see a matchup between Sri Lanka and Barbados as they compete in Pool E between these two countries. They've met each other previously on three occasions, the last of which Barbados winning that one. Well, these two teams are neck on neck in terms of world standing. Sri Lanka ranked 15th with Barbados 14. So from that, you would expect a close game if they can sort out the administration of the shooting circle, Sri Lanka. She's a real good playmaker for Sri Lanka, and that's the kind of take you want to see, Nantle. Oh, that's the one I want to see. I've seen it before in the previous match, straight on, of the Proteus. I don't know how those defenders, those wing defenders, actually do that. I mean, you, at, at, at the edge of the circle, you also don't want to go offside. You also don't, don't want to cause contact, but that was clean. That was clean there from the wing defense of Barbados. That's uh, Amanda Knight. Uh, ladies, uh, oh, now that was smooth. Right, straight. Bullet pass. That's, I mean, that's the best way to do it. We always say when we coach, the easiest way to the shooting circle is a straight line. So that's exactly what they did, Barbados. They, but they win it back. Where you are. Ah, that is a, that's exactly what they need to do. Put the ball in a space. Oh, Knight is certainly looking sharp today. Oh, that's a double play. Oh, you can see the sisters are happy. They've found each other. They've been reunited on court. And how comfortable is Kadeen looking already? Oh, look at the find between Rokya and Blackman. Oh, incredible connection. But here, clearly, Barbados has players who can play, I mean, positions that you really don't expect generally. We see Kadeen playing goal shooter and then moving to goalkeeper uh, in another game. So Barbados, uh, Coach Denise, has the formula. The coach saying that the goals must play short passes just to slow it down, to break the momentum of the Barbados because we know Barbados are... You know, they're kind of a fast team. So three goals now is the margin. Barbados really need to convert on this attempt so they can start finding some kind of confidence. And they don't really look worried at all. Oh, the connection between the Corbin sisters. And they make it work. They're really playing a slow pace today. They're reserving the energy, I must say. That's working for them, though. They're making it work. And here says that black man as she equalizes. The oh, that's a good find. A long ball from the midcourt. All the way to close to that baseline. Ah, incredible. Look at that. Sasha. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was sneaky. Oh, that was sneaky. I, I didn't even see that coming. I, I was expecting her to offload to the wing attack, but that was smart. Ah, look at those connections. Powerful, sharp. She means business. And I'm quite surprised at how well Sri Lanka is doing without Alwis on that goal attack position. Blackman certainly starting to find her range. She's looking very confident at the moment. Oh, Barbados are having to do double work on the defensive end. They've lost the wing defense. And her effectiveness on that lob pass, on the pocket pass. Uh, and they equalize Sri Lanka, bringing their fans to the stand on their feet. I want to see Algama stronger. You know, the goalkeeper is there. She's putting pressure on her. She's taller. She's more built as a bigger target. And when the ball comes, go for it. Oh, what a performance and what a finish from Sri Lanka.